Welcome back to Steins Gate, and we're finally gonna get a name for emails to the past. So let's see what the other suggestions are. I think it needs to be something easy to understand. It's an email that regresses through time, so how about retro mail? Retro mail is much better than a current suggestion before. <laughs> What does retro mean? Okay, um, starting to think Mayuri is not the uh, smartest person in the group. Mayuri is busy eating strawberry jelly. How can she eat that stuff after hearing about Jelly Man? Sounds like you have your answer, Christina. You said it should be easy to understand, but it wasn't easy to understand at all, was it? I don't think we should be judging how easy something is to understand on if Mayuri can understand it. So, so that, but, that, but that's because Mayuri-san is... Uh, 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 never mind. Were you about to say, because Mayuri's dumb? I mean, she is, though. Let's be honest. Okay, more mail. Another one from Suzuha. You don't want to know. Brackets. Lamal. Okay. What did I say to her? Oh, something about survival skills. No! Uh, Chris Chan, do you think Mayushi's dumb? I don't I don't, I promise I don't, okay? Somehow Krishi manages to glare at me even while soothing Mayuri. I vote the male who leapt through time. That's too stiff, it's hard to say. Ocarina no Starunantoka that the Jubun Nagajanka. Sorry, Korea Ega no title. It's better than your nostalgistic expalidocious. Expialidocious. I know that. Super kind of, I just couldn't say it when reading it like that. Nost nostalgistic expialidocious. Nonsense. And mine makes a movie title reference. That's not cool. It needs to be cool. You're rejecting it for that? Mayushi has an idea. How about back to the mail? I took a movie title and changed a word to mail. Mayushi, I already did the movie joke, Mayushi. Besides, I think the meaning is a little off. She probably meant mail to the future, but our emails go to the past. It's not about the meaning. I took a movie title and changed a word to mail. Okay, she really is not very smart. <laughs> Either way, it's too long. Then how about DeLorean mail? That doesn't even say what kind of email it is. Hey, we don't have time for this nonsense. Let's just abbreviate it to D-mail and move on. But that's boring. 
味気なかろうが味気があろうがどうでもいい。I don't care if it's boring. Shot down. Carissa's influence in the lab seems to have grown significantly these past few days. じゃあ、D メールに決定します !D メール it is! Mayuri, finished with her jelly, proclaims in satisfaction. Wait, when did Mayuri become the moderator? The. So, why does the D mail phenomenon occur? Ring to quit and eno Michiga Hirate Irkada. Nando me tiradro. Because the path through the ring singularity is open, we've been over this already. Black hole has sixty in a Kadoka or Kakunin dictinae. Danny, Serun no time machine to Guz and Niterdake, Jitua Matakuchiga Gensho Kamoshirinai. We don't know if there's actually a black hole at work here. It could be an entirely different phenomenon that just happens to resemble CERN's experiments. It's dangerous to jump to conclusions. Why so timid? Don't you want our time travel experiments to succeed? That's why we put our lives on the line to hack CERN. What we need to figure out is how to turn the phone wave, name subject to change, into a usable time machine. Do you really think that's possible? There is no think, only do. What's the point of the world's world? You're the one who is the one who is. What? Did you read that off a motivational poster? You're like the classic incompetent boss. <laughs> Damn you! You dare insult the insane mad scientist Hoen Kyoma? Well, it's not like Okarin's the boss, anyway. Indeed. I am the symbol of this lab, not the boss. I don't know what you mean by symbol, but how do you plan to turn the phone wave into a time machine? Let's hear details. My plan. All right, there is one thing. We've been thinking that the electrical discharge happens at random, but I have a hypothesis. Which is. I look at my watch. It's past noon. Christine. そして俺たちは最も単純で最も決定的な条件を見ようとしていた。Recall the conditions when it occurred, Christina. We experimented through the night with no results, but there's one variable we overlooked. The simplest, most definitive variable of all. すなわち、発生時刻だ。That is, the time of the occurrence. あ、oh. 過去2回の放電現象が起きた時間を調べてみたんだが I checked the times of the two previous occurrences それによれば俺が誰の携帯に送った時に偶然発生した最初の D メールはだいたい12時から13時の間 When I accidentally sent the first D メールと Darry's phone it happened between noon and 1pm そして2回目俺たち4人全員が目撃した D メールは The second time, when all four of us observed the D mail, it was 6 p.m. つまり、その二つの時間帯に実験をすれば、あるいは再現が可能かもしれないのだ。So if we perform the experiment within that time frame, we might be able to reproduce the effect. 早速やってみましょう。Let's try it right now. Risu bolts into the development room, suddenly bursting with enthusiasm. Well, I'm glad to see she has her priorities straight. 
マユシーのバナナずいぶん減ったねまた買ってこなくちゃマユシーのバナナ supply is getting low gotta buy more only one banana remains untouched we got rid of the jellified bananas and then we ate the rest ごめんねマユリさん後で新しいバナナ買ってくるから Sorry, Mayuri san, I'll go buy you some new bananas later. Really? Yay! Okari and Darukun, eh? Banana Katini Tabetemo, Chistomo Katikte Krenai no des. Okrin and Daru can eat my bananas, but they never buy new ones. I'll be sure to amend that in the future. A bunch of bananas is a small price to pay in order to bring chaos to the world. Kurisu picks the last banana off the stem, leans under the table, and places it inside the microwave. First, let's see if it'll become a jelly man. Ah! She tries to get up and gloriously bangs her head underneath the table. Crying for the clumsy girl appeal. It was an accident! Risu gets up, blushing in embarrassment with tears in her eyes. Put the microwave somewhere else. It's dangerous and hard to reach like this. It'll punch through the floor if we put it on the table. Christian! Christian! Pain! Pain! Go away! Mayuri pats the back of Kurisu's head and sweeps her hand through the air. Thanks, Mayuri san. Thanks, Mayuri san. Kurisu pulls herself together, types on her phone, and activates the phone wave, name subject to change. The banana inside the microwave slowly begins to spin backwards as the timer counts down. Oh! Oh! Kurisu, who is peering into the microwave, suddenly shouts in surprise. The banana has vanished. At the exact same moment, the banana reappears on its stem, jellified. Ooh! Whoa! It became a jellbana! Yahari,俺の予想通り,発生条件は時間帯だったな! <laughs> Just as I suspected, the critical variable was time. I was a little anxious about the result, but it all worked out. I outwitted the impertinent genius girl. Now my position as symbol of the lab is secure. What way to go, Okabe. It was so simple I didn't notice it. Risu says with a slightly sulky expression. <laughs> you're praised as you credit, Christina, but I know you're frustrated you didn't think of it first. Anyway, let's see if we can send another D mail. Risu ignores my proud laughter and excitedly starts typing out a mail. Ugh, I feel like my authority has been on the decline since that girl showed up. It's cool, man. You never had any to begin with. Help me, you two. Okabe, I'm sending an email to your phone. When did I become her assistant? I grind my teeth in frustration, but I do as I'm told and insert my phone into the phone wave. Name subject to change is slot. What are you going to send, Chris-chan? Mayuri presses up against Kurisu and sneaks a peek at Kurisu's phone. It doesn't matter what it says. What matters is whether we can send it or not. Uh, 
Let me see. Okabe is an airhead. You wait, you there, assistant, what are you typing? You'll see. Ready? I'm sending it. Daru has already set the microwave's timer through the X68000. There's nothing inside, but the microwave still operates. The countdown starts from 120. This is where the timing counts. We know that we have to open the microwave door during operation, but we still don't know when to send the mail. For now, we'll do them simultaneously. Karisu readies her finger on her phone's send button. I grasp the microwave's door handle. Mayuri seeks cover. Starting the countdown. Microwave timer soon indicates 70. Three, two, one, zero. Kurisu presses send, and at nearly the same instant, I open the microwave door. They're gonna end up with a time machine that they can only use like in the afternoon. <laughs> It's working! It's working, you guys! Lightning crackles in the air. The cushion underneath the phone wave, name subject to change, collapses under the weight. The floor starts creaking. It's exactly like the discharge phenomenon that occurred before. The discharge lasts for about 10 seconds. After it subsides, we stare at the phone wave, name subject to change, with bated breath. Luckily, it didn't break through the floor. Did it arrive? I disconnect my phone from the phone wave, name subject to change, and check my mail. Risu stands beside me and peers at the screen. Oh, it is. It said it was opened, though. There's an email there. Two of them, even. And they're written in English. The timestamps are from five days ago. <laughs> Carissa starts laughing when she sees the mail, even though she's the one who wrote it. The Okabe in the first one is obviously my name. But what does airhead in the second one mean? My English is shaky. Is she saying my head can fly or something? Whatever. I may not know what it means, but I do know this. My assistant is making fun of me. But that doesn't matter right now. Christina, Christina did you send two mails? Huh? Mm -hmm. No, I only sent one. Mayushi saw it too. She really only sent one. But I received two. You're right. I even sent it in one sentence, but it got divided. By the way, what does this word mean? Why don't you look it up? I guess she doesn't want to answer. That reminds me, the D-mail from before was cut up mid-sentence too. Was it? Yeah, look at your history. I'm pretty sure I said Okarin's a perv. You're right. This one got split too. I wonder what's causing it. Maybe it's related to the jelly men. But, but, 
どうして5日前に届いたかの方が気になります。あ、毎日、ますね、わいらい、5 days ago。確かに、前に送った時も、5日前に届いてたわよね。Good point. Didn't the last one also arrive five days before we sent it? Oh, so that's all. Yeah, it did. Nanka, Hosok said the Marunjane. Is there some kind of rule for when it arrives? Jasa, Jasa, Moto, Jaja, who could the Mioya? Let's try sending more. Mayuri's right. Now that we've figured out how to send emails, we should keep experimenting and collect as much data as we can. Yos, Nabo Mayo. All right, lab mems, battle stations. I feel like this could end with the microwave falling through the floor. He's at it again. Our mission to send as many D mails as possible. Daru, man the ex. 68,000. Your job is to observe, adjust, and gather information on the phone wave. Name subject to change. Joshua Mero Uchikero. Some other one of the bun show of Tamete. Nihongo, Ego, Zenkak Hankak, Emoji. Now you want one. Assistant, keep those mails coming. Try various patterns of text Japanese, English, full width, half width, emoticons. The actual messages don't matter. I'm sure Shining Finger would be better for the job, but since she's not, not a lab mem, I'll leave it to Kurisu. What about Mayushi? Your mission is to go shopping. Just buy some bananas for now. I, Ho and Kyoma, shall fund you. Wow, you're so generous! So I guess your job is opening the microwave. Whoa, you saved the easiest job for yourself. <laughs> no, my assistant's judgment is sound. The key to a successful D mail is most likely the correct timing of opening the microwave door. Um, I was just kidding. Leave this task to Ho and Kyoma. I shall open this door with precision, boldness, and delicacy, as if it were the flesh of a beautiful woman. How many, how much flesh of beautiful women has he opened? I know that's not what he means, but that's how I read it, and I'm like, oh, what's he been doing? <laughs> That's naughty. No! Furthermore, the current operation is top secret. You must not leak it to anyone. Got it? Mayuri nods. The others are ignoring me. Now I shall give this operation a name. It shall be known as Op. Don't need one. Let's start. What? But. You ruined my climactic scene! Damn you, assistant. This is an outrage. Afterwards, the D mail experiment. Its name is Operation Erd, though I lost my chance to announce it, continues for two hours. During that time, every D mail goes back in time without a hitch. Now it's time to take a break. We're all hungry, and except for Mayuri, we've been up since last night. 
私はもうちょっとやってみるから。Go ahead and rest. I'm gonna have a go at it a little longer. She's been going at it for hours and she's still full of energy. It's hard to believe she was so opposed to time travel research before. The scientist's blood must be on fire. We've made a number of discoveries, but we can wait to assess them until after we eat. Daru and I leave the two girls to watch over the lab as we go shopping at the convenience store. We return from the convenience store to find the Braun Tube Workshop's one and only part time warrior standing in front of the building. She's stretching. Stop! She notices me and calls out without stopping her exercises. What shenanigans are you up to this early in the morning? Shenanigans? This girl has a thing for unusual words. The kind you wouldn't believe. We're building the first time machine in human history. Oh, Corinne, like, to everyone else, just goes, telling them, don't tell anyone what's going on. And then as soon as he sees Suzuha, he's like, oh, yeah, by the way, <laughs> this is what we're doing. <laughs> ah, cool. Why? Hey, shouldn't you be more surprised? Can't blame her for being skeptical. I didn't think it was possible either. And isn't that top secret? I thought you didn't want anyone to know. Crap! Part time warrior, please keep what I said a secret. Sure, so, uh, by the way, part time warrior glances at the Braun Tube workshop. Boss is really pissed. Why? Noise. Whatever you're doing up there, it's got the whole building shaking. Dust everywhere. Kind of like an air raid. He was saying stuff like, What's that nutcase doing? I'm gonna raise his damn rent. Maybe you should go apologize. Oh boy, what if he kicks us out? Alright, leave it to me. Daru, go tell my assistant to lay off the experiments for now. Roger that. I won't forget you, soldier. Daru salutes, then races up to the second floor. So by the way, is Makise Kurisu here too? You know, sometimes this music really reminds me of Final Fantasy. Like, this reminds me of Final Fantasy VII for some reason. Also, why do I not have my phone in the top corner anymore? Did I leave it somewhere? Oh. Yeah. Come to think of it, she did pick a fight with Christina yesterday. Have you met before? Uh, uh, um, no. Yesterday was first contact. Shoken? First contact. That's a strange way of putting it. Oh, なるほど. Oh, really? Weren't you a little hostile for a first contact? She's my enemy. What? I barely heard her. Her voice was so low. I'm about to ask her to repeat herself, but Suzuha is staring at the ground in silence. She obviously doesn't want to talk about this. Did she call Kurisu her enemy? But that doesn't make sense. Oh, there's a personal story. But maybe I met her first. 
How can she be your enemy? You just met, right? Yeah. Did she do something to you? Not to me. What does that mean? She did something to someone else? <laughs> if you want, I can go talk things over with Christina. It doesn't really matter. Maybe you're blaming the wrong person? Please, give it a rest. He hits me with a glare. Anyway, shouldn't you apologize to the boss instead of talking to me? <laughs> Actually, I'm getting cold feet. But I am Hoenn Kyoma, the mad scientist who brings chaos to the world. I can't falter now. I steal myself and enter the Braun Tube workshop. Part time warrior follows me inside. I have come. I'm gonna start introducing my like I'm gonna start saying that when I arrive places just I have come I'm here now <laughs> Mr. Braun is sitting at the counter inside slurping delivery ramen even when I enter he doesn't look away from the huge 42 inch CRT it's showing some news shows report on some celebrity divorce part-time warrior doesn't say anything she's just going to stand there and watch him rip me a new one Hey, Okabe, the hell are you doing up there? Straight to the punch. He doesn't take his eyes off the TV, nor does he stop slurping his ramen. Yet despite his sedentary posture, he exudes extraordinary pressure. But now is not the time to falter. We're currently conducting experiments that will change the course of human history. The discoveries we make today will shape the world for centuries. I don't care what games you guys play, I'm the owner of this building, got it? And the building's really worn out. You keep shaking it like that, you could bring the whole damn thing down on our heads. Better keep quiet about the dent in the floor. <laughs> Mr. Brown. <laughs> Very interesting, Mr. Braun. Don't tell me you forged this building's earthquake safety certificate. What if I did? Holy crap. Maybe we should seek shelter soon. It's been properly reinforced, but regardless, you guys are still shaking it too much. <laughs> so what if a few buildings collapse? What's that? As I've said countless times before, our current experiment is of vital importance to the history of science. No, to the history of human civilization itself. It's more important than prolonging this building's lifetime for another 10 or so measly years. The building starts shaking again as soon as I finish speaking. Flakes of concrete start falling from the ceiling. The 42-inch CRT's image goes to static. Damn it, Daru, what are you doing? I thought I told you to stop the experiments. Okabe. Okabe. He's glaring at me. Wonder why. The ceiling is falling, you dumbass. So I'm going into my ramen. What are you going to do about it, huh? No more shaking. Or I'll raise your rent by 10,000. 
What? If you raise it by 10,000 yen, we're ruined. Leave it to me, Mr. Braun. On my honor, I swear there won't be any more shaking today. With that, I race out of the Braun Tube workshop. Christina! Christina, stop the experiments at once! When I burst into the lab, I find the three of them in the middle of lunch. Mayuri has juicy chicken number one. Daru has a convenience store box lunch. Carice is eating cup noodles with a fork. Sorry, Okarin. Mayushi tried to warm up some chicken. I... I accidentally put it through reverse rotation and then it started sparking. I see. I sent you an email. Didn't you get it? Your sarcasm is not appreciated, Christina. You know as well as I do that my phone wave is still attached. My phone wave. My phone is still attached to the phone wave. Name subject to change. I disconnect my phone from the phone wave. Name subject to change while grinding my teeth. Ooh, there one. This one's actually unread. Maybe the other ones were, and I just wasn't paying full attention. One more, please. One more, please? Stop screwing around! I'm the one who has to deal with Mr. Braun. But I gave you five days advance notice. Well, yeah, the timestamp's from five days ago, but... Was he mad? Oh. Yeah, I could feel his killing aura. Daru turns pale, but the two girls don't seem to care. They know not the wrath of Mr. Braun. Ignorance is bliss. Anyway, no more experiments today. Well, at least we got some good data. Then Karisu hides her mouth with her hand as she yawns. <sighs> I'm dead tired and my hair's dried out. I want to take a shower and go to sleep. I sigh and take a box lunch out of the convenience store bag. It's cold, so I toss it into the phone wave, name subject to change, and set the timer normally. If you want you want to shower, there's one here. It doesn't have a bath though. Alfred always uses it. It's probably filthy. I'd be lying if I called it clean. This entire building is in shambles. Anyway, I refuse to use the same shower as Okabe. Ooh, new mail! Ooh, Lukaku. About frogs. Um, Kyomu-san, are you familiar with Gero frogies? They were a huge fad last year. We have a ton of them at the shrine, so if you like, could you take a few off of our hands? Dad brought a whole box home for some reason. Then he said they were for me. I don't know what to do with them. P.S. I was so bewildered I couldn't do any practice swings with Samadari. Has he yet to text anything that says he has done practice practice swings? These were the frogs that Mayuri liked, right? There was like one that she liked? Okay, what can I say? Those weird looking frog things that were popular with teenage girls in Shibuya last year, right? If I'm not mistaken, they came out with a wide variety of them. Or... You know, the stories you tell paint a very different picture of your father than the impression I got from meeting him. Which is the true him, I wonder. Or, I suspect that last year's Gera Froggy Boom was an organization plot. 
Be careful, Lukaku. Those Gera froggies may be responsible for your father's strength. No, that'll upset him. He that he'll take that seriously. I'm just gonna ask if they were the right ones. I think he'd cry if he thought that the Gera froggies were an organization plot that were affecting his father's behavior. Okay. <laughs> I understand. Nobody will blame you if you don't use it. Of course, since the three of us stayed up all night, we're all pretty smelly. Given the sweltering heat and the fact that we kept the windows closed all night, I bet this place is smelling pretty rank by now. That's why I'm going back to my hotel once I finish eating. Grisu slips her cup noodles indignantly. I bought them at her request. She was raised in America, yet she likes cup noodles. Strange. I mean, we do have, like, cup noodles here. Probably not as nice. I'm not in America, but here we have cup noodles. Or pot noodles. I just don't think they'd be anywhere near as good. <laughs> Celebrity bath time at a high-class hotel. I want to come too. Not a chance. Mayushi wants to come too. You can come anytime, Mayuri-san. Really? Thank you? I take my warm food out of the microwave, take a fresh bottle of Dr. P out of the fridge and join in on lunch. Hey, Okrin, I've been wondering, but why do you drink soda while you eat? Does it make it taste better? I don't really see a problem. Me neither. Same, I didn't give it a second thought. You're acting weird, Mayuri. It's normal to drink soda while eating. It's normal, duh. No objections. No way! You guys are the weird ones. Well, I'm a pure Doctorian. I'm assuming that's someone who likes Dr. P. Daru loves cola like a typical fat otaku, and Karisu lives in America, home of soda. So I admit our opinion is biased. But it doesn't matter right now. Now. Now, let's discuss Operation Erd's progress, and we will leave it there. After checking the tips, of course, there's only a here. Someone who loves Doc P above all other beverages. Coimokrin, I guess that one. And Erd, the eldest of the three Norns, the goddesses of fate in Norse mythology. The three sisters tend the world tree Yggdrasil, which has roots in Erd's fountain. Erd is the Norn of the past. Okay, that's a clever name. That's a good operation name. I like all the Norse mythology stuff in here. I know really basic Norse mythology, but a lot of the names that they're using in this I haven't heard. So it's quite cool to learn some more. But yeah, so we'll leave it there. And next time we will find out what progress has been made. And maybe see how much they've ruined the floor of the building. Because it doesn't sound like it, it'll be very secure. Just going from what was happening downstairs. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.